Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Skagly Bones, back with another video for you. We are currently on the Public Test Realm server, and I wanted to not just bring you some impressions, but as I was power leveling my Crusader, I picked up a very specific weapon, and I kind of rehashed an old build that I used in the past that I didn't really like so much, but being... Um, it had been a really good, or it was the best weapon I could get at the time, and I really kind of wanted to use the skill uh, that was with it, with its legendary affix. I decided to use that uh, specific build, and I actually discovered that I kind of really liked the build, especially for power leveling through rifts and stuff. It kept me moving pretty quickly, and I also found that my Wrath... Um, my primary spender, I was having less trouble um, managing my Wrath Regen, which is quite a difficult thing for Crusaders. There isn't really any skills that you can kind of consistently always spend on uh, as a Crusader and move fairly quickly through the game. But as I was kind of playing with this build a little bit, I found that uh, I was able to move at a pretty decent pace without moving extremely fast yet not use too much wrath and yet I found uh, that I was quite enjoying this build so uh, we're gonna go through the build and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to use it most efficiently there's there's a couple things that have nothing to do with the skills you use that are gonna help this build work very well so without further ado let's go into the build so as you can see here, this is my gear that I have, and it's pretty basic gear. The only thing, I don't have anything special. I have everything that's socketed right now for gems is diamonds. We have all, because we want as much all resist as possible. In the helm, instead of a diamond, uh, we have our extra life. We've added our extra life. But I have no, I have no um, rubies in here, because I... Extra strength isn't going to really do me a whole lot of good. We have no Paragon levels at this point since we are doing a new Season 2 Hardcore character. And of course we are playing Hardcore as well. Right now our weapon that we're using is a very basic legendary weapon, the Wildwood. Uh, nothing special except for right now we got extra damage on it and strength. Um, so eventually when I get some extra money... I'm going to try to roll to get a, a slot for that so we can actually add some extra damage onto that. Now let's go into our actual skills. Excuse me. Of course I am using the Templar uh, just because uh, he gives us a little bit extra health regen and also some extra healing. So as we see here our primary uh, Wrath Generator is justice and the reason i'm using it is because it gives us some range ability but it also works good at, at short distance as well and what we're using as our rune is crack and the reason is because as justice hits or hits anything it's going to crack out the two smaller ones and it kind of it does track a little bit it doesn't do a massive ton of damage but you're going to get the 245 damage plus an extra 100 percent or plus the extra 245% uh, damage. And it's always going to crack into... Um, now, some people will use Pursuit, and some people will use Burst, and some other things, depending on what you're using. But I find the crack tends to work the best for me as far as hitting as much monsters as possible. Okay? Our second, our, or our spender, that we're going to be using is Blessed Hammer. Now, there is actually a flail... Um, that the Crusader can get that will cause Blessed Hammer to gain the Dominion rune automatically. And that's where I started using this build, was because of that weapon. Now it's... I kind of um, got rid of that weapon just because uh, it was quite... I used it for probably 15 levels. I got it back about oh, roughly a little bit before level 40. So it was getting kind of old and wasn't doing much damage anymore. But I did use it for quite a while, and it worked really great. So Dominion actually allows the hammer to orbit you as you move. 
Um, now I find that that allowed me to move quite quickly through the levels. Now, because I don't get the Dominion Rune at this point in time, uh, as, as well as this Thunderstruck, um, I have to move a little slower because the, the hammers aren't going to orbit around me and move with me. But they will still continue to orbit around you. Now, the reason you want to use Thunderstruck is what's going to happen, and I'll show you what's going to happen, is as you cast your hammers, and you can cast multiple hammers at a time, they're going to spin around you, and then they're going to actually arc. And then they're, they're going to cause damage between the hammer and you as it arcs electricity. So that does quite a bit of damage. And it actually, because it moves so slow, it will, as one arc actually hits an enemy, it will actually cause multiple dots of damage. So it's not just going to be one little bit of damage because it doesn't seem like a lot of weapon damage, but in the end it actually does do quite a bit of damage. And if you're standing still and you're casting these things, you can be casting other damage dealers while the Blessed Hammer is actually going on. And I'll show you this. And you actually cause quite a bit of damage because you can actually use your Wrath Regen attack skill and this skill at the exact same time. And that's actually where you get a lot of your damage from, is by using them both together. So that's kind of why Blessed Hammer actually works kind of well. Um, but you always kind of want to be moving, and I'll show you how we're going to be doing that. So you're not going to just use Stand Still, the Stand Still button, or Force Stand Still button. Um, just by itself, we're going to actually be using the Move Auto Move button um, as well. So most of the time the Crusader doesn't use that, most melee characters don't use that, but that's what we will be using. We're going to be actually playing it we will be playing a little bit more like uh, that of a a demon hunter than than as a crusader. Okay. Now let's uh, the other skills we have we have condemn with unleash, and the reason we're doing condemn at this point is because we want a little bit extra damage. Now there's there's a lot of different possibilities here. You can use phalanx. You can uh, provoke. You can use steed charge. You can use uh, any one of these, but I'm choosing unleash. Uh, condemn with Unleash because it, it's very quick. It's only on a 15 second cooldown and it allows us to instantaneously cause damage. Okay? Um, uh, we're going to be using Akarash Champion. If I Akarash Champion always gets you out of some type spots and it has extra damage when you get to your Rift bosses. So we always want that and I choose Fire Starter just because it adds quite a bit extra damage over three seconds. Now you, this kind of, if you if you really want um, an extra survivability, you can pick Profit because you gain 150% extra additional armor. And also, if he, you die while Akarash Champion is up, you're going to return full health. But I'll show you why we're not using that in a second. Then we have Laws of Valor. I always like to have one law, just because all the time, while it's up, you're going to get in, either increased attack speed. You're going to e get uh, in increased uh, resistance to all elements, or you're going to get increased uh, life per second. Um, and then when you empower it, you get, um, for uh, Laws of Valor, we're going to get 15% inc uh, percent increased attack speed for 5 seconds. And then I'm choosing Critical, because as I'm leveling, I want as much damage as possible. That's really what the point is. That allows you to go through the game quite a bit quicker and level up quick quicker. So we're choosing Laws of Valor. Um, oh, we're choosing the Critical Rune because that's going to add 100% uh, increased critical damage during that time period, which is going to help us quite a bit. Okay. Now, early on, that doesn't really help you a whole lot, but it's not going to raise your damage that much. But it's enough to to kind of tack on a little bit extra damage, and you got a 30 second cooldown on that. But the nice thing is you always got that 8% um, increase attack speed, which is actually kind of important with our Blessed Hammer. You want a little bit extra attack speed on it, since it doesn't actually burn. Uh, one thing that's nice about Blessed Hammer, if you look at it, it's only co to cost 10 Wrath. Whereas if you look at all these others, you have 30 Wrath for, uh, 30 wrath for Shield Bash, 20 for Sweep Attack, 20 for Blessed Shield, and Fist of Heaven costs 30. Okay, now... For our secondary time damage dealer, because we got condemn is 15 seconds, and then a cooldown for Heaven's Fury is 20 seconds. 
The nice thing though is this lasts for five, oh, six or five seconds depending on what rune you do. So Heaven's Fury gives you 1700 weapon damage, percent weapon damage, as wholly over six seconds. And the beam follows the enemies, but we're going to choose the Blessed Ground, which means that wherever that beam hits, it's going to actually create this Blessed Ground, which is going to cause 15, an extra 1,500% weapon damage over 5 seconds to anybody who walks through it. So not only is the beam going to cause damage, the ground is going to be kind of like a fire damage, but as holy. So it's, it's an area of effect which is very, very, very effective for just knocking down those elite mobs and knocking down those rift bosses. Okay? Now, like I said, this is kind of up for debate what people want to use. Some people use Falling Sword Pump. Some people use some other things. The problem is with Falling Sword is you have cooldown and wrath. And then it's a cooldown of 30 seconds, not 20 seconds. So, in my opinion, it's just not as effective as Heaven's Fury. Okay? So, that's the reasoning behind what we have for all these. So, so as far as our passives, I'm using Fervor because I'm using a one-handed and I get 15% extra attack speed and then 15% cooldown on everything. If I'm using a two-handed weapon, I'm going to use Heaven's Strength instead of Fervor because Fervor isn't going to do me any good, then I'm going to use Heaven's Strength. But then I might then go and, um, you know, of course, I want to always make sure I have Holy Cause here you know, because that, that does increase weapon damage by 10%. And, of course, I'm choosing Indestructible because that is kind of my fail-safe. If I do die with Indestructible... You're instantly resurrected, and you gain 35% increased damage, and you gain 1,200 uh, life per kill. And that's the, um, the life per kill is uh, uh, based on what level you are. So that does go up. That's per kill for, for five seconds. And this affects, as much time as we do? of well, course, get bored too. of course, this uh, effect may occur once every 60 seconds. So you do have a 60 second cooldown on it. Hopefully you shouldn't die within that next 60 seconds. So, but it is a possibility if you get stuck. And um, that happened in my previous video, as everybody saw <laughs> me die on hardcore. Okay, so that is the reasoning behind that. Now, let me show you something real quick uh, here before we go back into our rift. But um, if I hold the, the stand still button, as you can see, I can cast my primary skill, okay? And then, of course, I can, as you can see, there's Blessed Hammer. I throw out the Blessed Hammer. I can cast it out like three times. And as you saw, they're arcing around me, and that's going to cause damage. Now, you watch here real quick. I'm going to move, and I'm going to cast Blessed Hammer, and I'm moving around. And then if I hold Stand Still, if you notice, I can hold Stand Still, then I can hold Auto Move, and the auto move will override my standstill. Now currently I am using the Razor Nostromo. So it makes it very easy for me to hold those two buttons. I have those buttons that are kind of right next to each other so I can use my thumb. I use my thumb for auto run. And for the most part if you're using a keyboard you want to use your space button for auto run for this build. Now normally you use your space bar for standstill. But in this build, I would use your space bar for auto run. And then choose another button that you can use with your index finger for stand still. And then that way you can press both those buttons at the same side time and you'll be moving around. But then you can cast both your primary and your secondary skills simultaneously. So as you can see here, what I'll do is I'll cast my blessed hammers and then I'll cast my regenerators damage while my blessed hammers are orbiting and that allows for quite a bit more damage so let's jump into the rift and we'll see you'll see you'll get to see a little bit of this in action and then that will conclude the video for today so let's get this started here okay I always start off by pressing my blessed hammers because I kind of want that extra damage going on while while I'm casting my wrath regener generator. Oh, I'm casting justice. Excuse me. Sorry. 
Of course, now we hear. Oh. See, as you can see there. I use both my Heaven's Fury and I use both my Condemn quite effectively. Because most of the time, especially when you when you reach level 70, you're not going to use a regeneration attack. There's, there are other things that cause you to regen your wrath, along with uh, your paragon levels, that you can lower the amount of wrath that's spent and things like that. Plus, you can lower your, you can raise your wrath regeneration automatically through um, your armor and stuff. But because we're not really getting that kind of armor and stuff, we don't. Our resource spending gets quite high, but because this spends very few little wrath, it's only ten per use. I'm never gonna, for the most part, run out of wrath unless I never cast, unless I do it too fast and I just sit here and spam it over and over forever. But even spamming it, as you notice, I'm not using that much wrath. And I'm able to keep up with my wrath regeneration pretty easily, you notice. And if you ever run into an area where you need a little bit more damage, you just cast one of your either Heaven's Fury or condemn. It adds a little bit extra damage. But it does make it quite convenient. Like I said, this build is quite convenient for moving around uh, the the rifts. Now at one point I did uh, use this with a level 70 character. I used it on a greater some greater rifts and stuff and I, I had quite good a fortune with it. It's just the fact was I wasn't using I wasn't using the auto move button which I think was kind of making the build not that good. So I found that you really have to use the auto move button. You have to move around quite a bit. You want to keep moving all the time with this build. And that's what really makes this build work. So now I know there are there, I know there's quite a few people out there that do use this build. So I do know it works. I just wanted to make sure that um, all you folks out there were able to kind of see it work, see it happen. In fact, we have a. I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to grab a rift boss at the same time. I kind of want to show you that in action because we're going to pop our Akrat's champion. I want you to see how quickly we're going to down this guy with our Akrat's champion activated. So we had a leap mob, we had our rift boss, and once we popped Akrat's champion, it just took a couple of seconds down the boss. Now we're only in hard mode right now. That's just because we're leveling, uh, and our gear isn't really that optimized. If I had a few more legendary items, uh, maybe a legendary trinket and uh, two legendary rings instead of what I got now, possibly a legendary shield, I would probably uh, run in a higher difficulty mode. But the big thing is I wanted to really show you just how efficiently that this build really does work. Blessed Hammer really is is a very little I didn't say little, I should say not frequently used 
ability. And the reason is, it kind of is, a, it feels a little slow at first. Because the first time you, you start your hammer, it starts off close to your body and it takes a little while to get away from. Whereas Fist of Heaven, you can cast anywhere at any time and it's, it's quite a quick attack. Blessed Hammers seems, at first, until you get used to it, it seems to be a slower attack. Not ready yet. But, if you are constantly moving the way I am, and you keep your character always moving, except when you have to pick up items, open boxes, or open doors, you'll find that you can actually move quite a bit quicker than you would with other builds. Because you're not always stopping. Character is constantly on the move. He constantly stays on the move. And if I had a upgraded weapon for this build, then I would uh, I would be able to move quite a bit quicker than I even am now. So hopefully, when we get to level seventy, I should be able to get. Uh, Should be able to uh, optimize this build with the right weapons and everything. But even as you can see, without the weapon that's meant for for the blessed hammer, it still works quite well, and I still get quite a bit of damage out of this build. As well. That's one of the reasons why. I use Justified. Patience. Or, excuse me, your Justice. So, Justice is quite effective, as you're seeing. And it gives me some range. As you can see, this is more, more the way a... This is more of a range build than is a close-up build. But it still does work as a close-up build. Now, the nice thing is if you have a waller your blessed hammer does go through the wall so unlike some other builds in fact I think on my on my level 70 hardcore character that I have, I think I'm going to switch over and actually use this build. I'm going to see how it works. Once I try it out, from there, I'll let you know how it works. And perhaps we'll do another video on it. So I'll leave you with a couple more minutes of gameplay. But remember... Look, it's a good thing we didn't leave right away, didn't it? So I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. And uh, make sure you uh, leave any comments below in the comment section. As well as kind of uh, perhaps give me some feedback on the types of videos you would like to see. It's always nice to hear from everybody. And um, I know a lot of times people just are like, well, we'll just watch the video and he can make whatever he wants to. But I prefer to learn from you guys, the walker those that uh, watch my videos what kind of stuff you guys want to see well folks you have a wonderful day and I'm out of here